Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Deborah. Today I'm starting a new journal and I should probably be finishing all the ones that I've got on the go but I just wanted to do something small and a little bit different today. So this is much smaller than I normally work in. I'm using this little book as my base and I got this at a charity shop and it actually says Senior School Reference Library 1951 and Church of England Girls Grammar in Melbourne. So I've already pulled some pages out at other points in time to use, but I thought what I'd do is I'll use this and use it as the base of my journal. I think it's actually a poultry book by the look of it, and I want to keep the, the um, inside covers because they've got lots of the writing on them, and I don't want to get rid of that. And I'm just looking in here. It looks like it's got something in here, so I might... Uh, I may try and keep some of that as well. But the journal that I want to make, I want to try and push myself and do something a bit different. I don't know if it's going to work, but I tend to work in quite a structured way. Although I don't have a plan, I am quite neat in how I put things together. So I'm going to try and work with a bit more abandon this time. I'll, I'll see how we go. To that end, I've pulled out some fabrics and also plenty of old paper and also this linen. And I thought I might try and do some layering. This is a vintage French linen. I've also got this little thing that I've had for a while. That's just a piece of ruffled linen on a cotton reel. And I've got plenty of lace. So I thought I'd just try and work with a bit more abandon. I've got some metals out as well. So I'm not going to do obviously all of it today. But I just wanted to make a start. So I might try this page here. The paper I'm using is a Stamperia paper range and it's called Azuelos de Sueño. So basically it's like all tiles and things like that. So it's really pretty. So let's get going. I've cut the two bits that are smaller. So this will be the size because that fits in the journal. I wanted to kind of do some attachments on the outside here. So this is like, um, reminds me of bathroom tiles, this one. I think it's very in that sort of mode with all the bathroom tiles. It's quite pretty and I like the colours. And I also like how the colours match in with, you know, these bones and colours that I like to use. So where I'm up to is I have sewn this piece on. So I've just taken some lace and some of the sari silk and... I've sewn that on but I think I actually want to lay that over as well and then on the inside I've sewn it on to here and I've got a pocket and down here I put some of that ruffle and some of the French vintage French linen which is just beautiful and the other thing I put on top of it this is that piece from the top of one of the books I think you've probably seen a few videos where I've taken this piece out and the top of the book always has you know, a little bit of ribbon and it's usually got some sort of pattern. This is a checked pattern that usually sits up here on the inside of the spine. So I've taken a bit of that as well and just created a little little bit there. I have this other piece which I'll put on this side and that's going to fold in there. So I need to put some fabric down on here or something down on here as well. I put this down here I can sew both of these on together the same way I've done that side. Now I've sewn these two here and I've also put a piece of lace down on this side here. I just need to trim some of this off. I might leave it a little bit long, not really trim it all off. So I've decided I'm actually going to stick these together now. So I have this and then I'll use this piece here to attach it to another piece of the book so that I've got a pocket in here. I'm just going to put the notch in and then ink it and I'll have a pocket. I'm just going to take some of this. This is a old commercial typing tablet so the paper is really, really old. <laughs> so I've got it in an op shop.
may take some of that one as well. This is an old Hobby Weekly. I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of paper on this just to make it look a bit more interesting than it does right now. And then I will just find something that I can put into here. And I wanted to put a bit of paper across here too so that that is in there. Hasn't quite left enough room, so I have to do it using the edge of the paper as a guide. Let's see, that looks okay, or it will when I ink it. I've cut this piece, it should fit perfectly. I think I'll cut it down a little bit more. I don't want it too tall and then I'll just cut the corners off and then what I want to do with this is put something on the top got some of these little Tim Holtz discs so I might put one of them on there what I'm doing is cutting out one of these tags which come with the pack. Let's get this chopped around. And then I want to mirror it on here. I'm going to start with, I might do it on the back actually. Let's put it on the top and the bottom and then draw around it and then on the other side. So I've decided I'm going to tie it on with some of this Tim Holtz Eclectic Elements craft thread because it's really, really strong. So that should hold it. I'll just grab the tool out, the crocodile, big bite, and let's put an eyelet in. I need to put one in both, so I'll just use that first one as a guide on the second. used a lot of brown in the lace and oh, I will be using more more brown in the lace so I thought brown might be the way to go with this one got that there and let me now put the little thing on I quite like that I can put one tag over the top with the little thing on it and then I'll cut these off. It's starting to come together, I think, this page. I think my problem is that I just want to get things finished so I don't take the time to, you know, Put lots of embellishment on but I'm going to on this one so let's move on I'm actually going to put it down like this and then I can create another pocket out of it it's 
a good idea. I'll do that. I know it's a bit wonky, but I'm trying to embrace the wonkiness. I think that achieves what I want to achieve, which is basically to have something with a lot more embellishment on it than I usually do. I've got these little tiny cards and envelopes. Just picked these up this morning when I was out at the scrapbooking shop. They're very cute. I want to put something on here. Maybe a bit more of this paper can go on there. And this actually fits perfectly in there, but I could use it as a pocket. Just put the little envelope down and use it as a pocket. Not sure, let me just check what I want to do with it. I'm wondering if it'll fit across there. Okay, that'll turn up, that'll come in. Right, now I have to decorate the back of it. I have this Tim Holtz embellishments on ephemera. I thought I could use one of them. I'm just going to take that up because I want to put some of this down. I'm just going to pull this up here and slide this under here just a little bit. The rip the edges. Just wanted to cover that up. Not necessarily have another pocket on there though. This is quite pocket heavy, this particular piece. So I've done that bit. At least I've got one thing done. I'm quite happy with that. So I think I'll move on and do some more on another day. Because that's just quite a bit of work. I will ink these edges so that I get some brown on the edges of this tag because it's a new tag, not an old one. So that's the first part. Let me know what you think, how am I doing to push myself into, you know, not having straight edges everywhere. I think that it's, uh, it's quite nice. I quite like how it's coming together so far. But it remains to be seen if I can keep it up. I think I put those up the wrong way, but I guess when you look from this side, they are up the right way. So I'm just going to have to leave it because it's done now. And that's it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me today. Cheers.